Welcome to Pure Awesome Podcast. I'm Mike. And this is Orlando. And we're here for another Monday mini-sode in the midst of Q4. Yeah, we're doing these uh, Monday minis. We love these Monday minis. And again, these are special for those of you who are on YouTube. Uh, these don't show up on the podcast side. So thank you to all of you who like, subscribe, you follow our YouTube. Uh, we love the uh, the interaction in the comments below too. So let us know in the comments below. Uh, what are you maybe excited about this Q4? Because we are like, we're in it now. Like Q4 has been happening you know, people have been out, you know, maybe you've, you've probably Black Friday, as we know, is already over. That's right. So so what what's been your favorite moment so far this Q4? What's been the most hectic moment? Maybe what was the craziest thing that happened? Maybe Black Friday shopping for you. So let us know in the comments below. And uh, without further ado, what are we talking about today, Orlando? So we do have extended versions about, you know, hey, do this during Q4. You know, make sure you're being profitable during Q4. But I thought it'd be good to just do a quick, you know, you're on your way to a store to do some arbitrage or you're on your way to drop off packages. Just something to think about uh, in the midst of Q4 because if things are moving and, uh, you know, Q4 is a time where you can maximize your profits in a small window. And especially right now, right, we are dropping this before the hysteria, right? Before the euphoria, before the craziness of the first two weeks of December. So just thought we'd drop real quick about how not to leave money on the table during Q4. Let's do it. All right. So first of all, I wanted to say, hey, if there's ever time for you to sell, it's now. Now, I know this is going to sound kind of interesting. You're like, well, Orlando, why wouldn't it sell? Like, why wouldn't I sell it? And here's the thing. We as resellers, like some of us, I'm guilty of this too. We want that extra dollar, right? We want that extra $5. And so sometimes we're like, nah, you know, there's going to be a better offer that comes along or there's going to be another buyer. I don't want to, you know, have this on sale. I want to sell at full price. Listen, there's no other time for people to buy than in Q4, right? They they are ready to max out their credit card. They, they want to get gifts for their family. They want to get on time. And if there's ever been something that's been sitting around that you haven't been able to sell, now's the time to sell it. Yeah. And as we get so close to Christmas time, um, you've got to figure there's this sweet spot of people are buying things. And then eventually the sales are going to slow down for a little bit because people aren't going to be able to get things in time for Christmas. Right. So you've got a, a window where people are buying like crazy. But if you hold off thinking and, and it's true because it's a gamble, right? You can maybe say, hey, if I wait until there's literally none of these left anywhere, people are going to, you know, go uh, jingle all the way on this and be willing to do whatever it takes to get this random toy that I have or whatever it is. But that's a gamble you're taking because you could end up, you know, where you're holding an item and the price tanks, you could end up holding the item and now nobody buys it. The Christmas rush is over. And this item that was going for crazy amount because it's Christmas time is now back down to its normal value. So you definitely want to, you know, pick it up now, get that cash going and, uh, and, and move on. Yeah. So again, and if you have offers on your, all your items, you know, I, I strongly suggest do buy it now with best offer, unless it's a hot item that you can tell is consistently selling at the same price, then it's okay. It's okay to keep that off. But you know, people also are, are looking at a deal right now. We're in an interesting place with <laughs> inflation and who knows what else is. And so, you know, people may be, you know, kind of thinking, all right, I want to get a better deal. I want to get a better bargain. And, you know, the, the opportunity that you have, if you're just selling on eBay in comparison to Amazon is on eBay, you have a little bit of flexibility. You kind of have that on Amazon. Sometimes people will message you and say, Hey, are you willing to sell it for cheaper? I never will change it because if you change it, that's whoever shows up on that listing and we're looking for that item, we'll get it for that price. But on eBay, you can personalize it a little bit more. So that also means it's time to send those coupons, right? You want to send those coupons. You want to offload that inventory. And so now that eBay has given you that tool, strongly recommend it to send those coupons so you can sell that stuff now. Yeah. Like Orlando said at the beginning, people are, people are willing to buy now and uh, you want to, you want to capitalize on that. You want to capitalize while people are spending like crazy. They're thinking about who they need to buy stuff for. Uh, so send those coupons out because you want them in your store. You don't want them buying something from another person's store. Or you don't want them buying something from the store store, right? You want them buying from your eBay or your Amazon store. Uh, and the next thing is you got to ship it, right? The The worst thing that can happen is one, you, you get to a place where you're not shipping stuff on time and it, it dings your metrics. Two, it, it just imagine as a customer, you know, when you're, we're, we're now getting into almost December here and people want stuff. I mean, sometimes we think like, oh, you know, we have until the 25th, you know, if it gets a little bit late. Well, some people are getting things because they're meeting family early. Maybe they've got Christmas parties. Maybe there's a lot of times people are, are doing gift exchanges well before Christmas. So you want to make sure that you're getting stuff sent out as soon as possible because you want that 
arrived on time, especially because shipping is taking longer, right? So you don't want to be the delay. It's if the USPS is already going to delay it, you don't want to be the reason that it's delayed an extra day. You don't want to be the reason that it doesn't get to them before their Christmas party. They're upset. And then you're dealing with refunds. And that's not what you want to be dealing with around Christmas time is a whole bunch of refunds. And along with that, just remember, think about when you're a buyer. Like to me, one of the most frustrating things is if I buy something on Amazon and I pay for Prime and the Prime only applies two days after they finally ship it. Right. So they have some leeway time where like a day or two, they may not ship it. And so buyers like seeing that message coming in that, hey, this item has, you know, shipping label has been printed. It's on its way. So even if you're not able to right away get to the post office, go print that shipping label. Right. Hopefully, you know, some of the stuff you already have an idea. Maybe they're a flat rate items that you're shipping out. Maybe you already have them packed up. Uh, but definitely, you know, you want to ease the buyer at this time because, yeah, there's a lot of tension. Post office has not been the greatest as Q4 or I can't think of the last Q4. They've been the greatest. And, you know, there's also been, you know, a clog within FedEx and UPS. And so you want to make sure that you're shipping it now and you're shipping as fast as you can. Yeah, that's good. And the other thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're responding to customers. This is really big on eBay. A lot of times I get messages and it's like, do I really want to deal with this right now? Customers saying like, what size is this? Does this fit this? Does this, uh, can you tell me? And, and there's a lot of questions about items. And then I've got to go up to my shed. I've got to pull the item. I got to look at it. Uh, you want to respond right away because in a normal day, normal time of the year, you might have a good several hours. You might have a day or two to like respond to somebody and say like, I'll check, I'll let you know. Uh, but if they're looking for an item to buy, they're looking to buy today, right? Because if, if you don't answer their question, they'll go find that, you know, button up shirt or those Allen Edmund shoes or whatever it is from another buyer who can answer their question and get it to them. So even if your response is, uh, you know, great question, uh, I'll be checking, you know, this afternoon and I'll respond to you then at least let them know so that they're not shopping around still. You want them, you want to, to, to get that buyer as soon as you can. So if you get questions, if you get, you know, people want to know something about an item, now is the time, and I know you're busy, you're trying to source, you're trying to ship, you're trying to do all these things, but unless you're willing to lose that sale where you might normally have you know, good mm -hmm. 12, 24 hours to respond to somebody and give them their answer, you might only have a half hour to get that answer to them before they've moved on and, and bought it somewhere else. All right, and the last thing here is don't get caught up in issues. And this can mean a lot of things, right? This can mean you have a buyer that you're going back and forth about something and they're not happy. Just tell them to return it. Don't go on. You, you, your time is too valuable during Q4 to spend the time and try to investigate. And, you know, are they telling the truth? Or is there something you missed? You just you just got to move on or whether it's shipping. Right. You have an item you have to ship. You probably could save yourself a couple bucks by going to the store and picking up the right size box. But that, that could be another half hour that you're losing that you could be listing. Or if you're doing Amazon, you could be sourcing. It, it, there's so much that can be done during that time that you're busy uh, going, you know, I want to take care of this right now, but the velocity of things during Q4, especially I would say, you know, that second week of December, like you, you don't want to get caught up in, in just things that do not matter. So make sure you're being efficient. You know, again, you may lose $20 in an item, right? But you may gain, you know, 80 to a hundred dollars in that same amount of time by just saying, you know what, just return it. It's not worth the hassle. So, Hopefully, uh, these items here allow you to keep money and don't <laughs> and not to leave it on the table. I was trying to trying to segue that in. Yeah, that, that works. <laughs> OK, so with that being right. said, no, so that being said, so make sure, hey, you're selling now, you're accepting offers now, you're shipping it now, you're responding now and you're not getting caught, caught up in the issues. And with that being said, make sure to be real, be relevant and be reselling. Leads. Peace. <laughs>